Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. In previous video, we have studied the open delta connection. In open delta connection, it is nothing but the delta delta connection in which one of the transformer is removed. This type of connection is also called as VV connection. Now in this video, we are going to solve a problem based on the open delta connection. The problem on the open delta connection can be stated as a 900 kVA load is supplied by three transformers connected in delta delta. The primaries are connected to 2300 volt supply line while the secondaries are connected to 230 volt load. If one transformer is removed for repair, what load can the remaining two transformers supply without overloading? What are the currents in high voltage and low voltage sides of the transformer winding when connected in open delta? Now if we read this problem carefully, it is mentioned that 900 kVA load is supplied by the three transformers when they were connected in delta delta. Now one transformer is removed from repair. Now as one transformer is removed, the delta delta connection will now act as the open delta connection. So we have to solve this problem based on the formulas of the open delta connection. Now the first step to solve this problem is to write down what is the given data. So let us write the data given in the problem. So the given data in the problem is kVA rating is 900 kVA, V1 is equal to 2300 volts and V2 is equal to 230 volt. Now let us see what we have to determine in this problem. In this problem we have to find kVA loading in case of open delta then I1 that is current in HV side and I2 that is current in LV side. Now let us find the solution to this problem. When the load is connected in delta delta, the KVA rating is given by S delta delta is equal to root 3 VL1 IL1. From this formula, let us find the formula to find the value of IL1. Therefore, IL1 is equal to S delta delta divided by root 3 VL1. Substituting the values in this equation, we get IL1 is equal to 900 multiplied by 10 raised to 3 divided by root 3 multiplied by 2300. After solving this equation, we get the value of IL1 as IL1 is equal to 225.9 ampere. Now let us find the value of current at HV and LV side. The current which we have found that is the line current. We have to convert it into phase current. We know that in case of delta connection, the relationship between line current and phase current is given by IL is equal to root 3 I phase. Rearranging this equation to find the formula for I phase, we get I phase is equal to IL divided by root 3. Now let us find the value of I phase for HV winding as well as LV winding. Let IP1 be the value of phase voltage of HV winding and IP2 be the value of phase voltage of LV winding. So if we consider the HV winding, we can write the formula as for HV winding the formula for IP1 is written as IP1 is equal to IL divided by root 3. Now we have already calculated the value of IL. So let us substitute that value in this equation and find the value of IP1. IP1 is equal to 225.9 divided by root 3. Further solving this equation, we get IP1 is equal to 130.42 ampere. Now let us find the value of IP2. We know that the current transformation ratio in terms of voltage ratio is given by V1 by V2 is equal to IP2 by IP1. Rearranging this equation, we can find the formula for IP2 as IP2 is equal to IP1 multiplied by V1 by V2. Substituting the values in this equation, we get IP2 is equal to 130.42 multiplied by 2300 divided by 230. Further solving this equation, we get the value of IP2 as IP2 is equal to 1304.2 ampere. In this way, we have found the values of current IP1 and IP2. Now, it is mentioned that the transformers were initially connected in delta delta, but due to some reason, one transformer was removed. Hence, now the connection is open delta type. Now, when the connection is open delta type, the current should not exceed the current which we have already calculated. So, IP1 and IP2 is the current which can be safely 
transferred. So in this way we have found the value of current. Now let us find the value of maximum KVA loading. The formula for maximum KVA loading is given by SVV that is the open delta KVA rating is equal to root 3 V2 multiplied by IP2. Substituting the values in this equation we get SVV is equal to root 3 multiplied by 230 multiplied by 1304.2. Further solving this equation we get SVV is equal to 519.6 KVA. This is the value of maximum KVA that the transformers can carry without being overloaded. Thank you friends for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and do subscribe our channel Ikeda. Thank you.